Okay guys, so in this video we're going to be looking at the general format for the reading and use of English paper. But we're going to do it through a dictation exercise, so you're going to be learning the technique while also practicing your listening skills, writing skills, etc, etc. Okay? If you don't know who I am, I'm Cambridge Rory, or Cambridge English teacher Rory, from studentlanguages.com, and if you're new to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button below, hit the like button and click the bell so you'll be notified of all my new videos, which could be really useful for you if you're preparing for a Cambridge English exam. There's going to be some links below in the description to any resources that I mention in the video, and I'll have an extra bonus tip for you guys that make it to the end of the dictation too. Okay, so let's get going. Let's not forget that you can slow down and speed up these uh, dictation exercises in the settings control, which should be towards the bottom of your video frame. Settings is a little wheel, ding, 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 tick it. Maybe turn it up to 1.5 a little bit quicker, or maybe turn it down to 0 0.5 slower, and then you can complete the dictations at your own pace. This will be a dictation, and there will be a writing question at the end. Are you ready to listen? Okay, then let's begin. General format. The use of English paper. has now combined with the reading paper. However, Use of English and reading are still given separate grades. I know it's confusing. By the time you read this, they might have updated the format below. Length 90 minutes How many parts? Eight. The reading and use of English paper. consists of eight parts
and this paper lasts one hour and 30 minutes. Parts 2, 3 and 4 form the use of English section. and parts 1, 5, 6, 7 and 8 form the reading section. Parts two to four are use of English. Part two. There are eight questions. And you are awarded eight marks. Part three. There are eight questions and you are awarded eight marks. Part four. Six questions Twelve marks This part focuses on grammar and vocabulary. Including your understanding of varying word types. Sentence structures and collocations. Remember, you can see what 
this exercise looks like in my C1 or not C1 course book. Parts 1, 5, 6, 7 and 8 our reading in part 1 there are 8 questions And you are awarded eight marks. Part five. Six questions twelve marks Part six Four questions eight marks. Part seven, six questions, twelve marks. Part eight, ten questions, ten marks. Part 1 Tests your knowledge of word families and sentence structures. Parts 5 to 8 Test Your overall comprehension And awareness of how sentences and paragraphs fit within Different written texts.
they also test your ability to find and understand small differences in meaning. between similar looking sentences. Question. Email. You have been told that Cambridge English are thinking of removing the reading and use of English exam paper. You met up with some work colleagues and discussed the matter. The following points were made. Grammar skills are important. for writing reading skills are important for work Action. Write an email to Cambridge English
on behalf of you and your colleagues. Explaining your views and requesting that they change their mind. Write 220 to 260 words. That is the end of the dictation. Okay, so here's the bonus tip that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. In the CAE exam, always write an answer. Write an answer to every question because you can't lose marks for writing an answer. You can only gain marks. This video is part of my video series and I'm releasing loads of videos like this on dictations and I'm restricting a lot of them for members of my website only. So if you wanna make sure you've got access to all of them, then click the bell notification symbol next to the subscribe symbol down below the video and then you'll be notified as soon as I release the video and you can watch it before I restrict it. Okay, alternatively you can get all of these dictations and more right now by getting my C1 or not C1 audiobook. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel then hit that subscribe button right now and support me and support yourself. Adios.